Yo, what's up guys? It's me again, Sergio Pro. Welcome to our video today. In this video, we are going to try to reset or bypass a forgotten Windows 10 password. It could be a local user account, a Microsoft online account, or a domain user account. If you have forgotten your password, we can do that one. Now, this video is a remake video of what I made about 10 months ago that worked for a lot of people, but because of the patches and updates that came from Microsoft, they were able to patch that trick that we did so it hasn't been working for some people recently. So the problems that other people are having with the recent updates and patches with Microsoft were the ease of access is not working, Utilman is not there. When they go to the system recovery, they'll be required with a password already. And this video, since it is a remake, it is a similar procedure, but there are added steps that we need to do. Before we start, I want to explain a couple of things. Number one is login accounts. There are three types of login accounts that you can have with Microsoft. Local user account, a Microsoft online account, or a domain user account. Now, both the domain user account and Microsoft online account are similar because they are being authenticated from another server. Now, the local user account is being authenticated with a local computer and we can reset or bypass those things. The second thing we need to understand is the type of user that we can have in a computer system. Number one, is it an administrator or is it a standard user? A standard user accounts has limitations. They can only access the files that they have with their account. An administrator can do everything. Access rights with all folders or files within a computer system. Keep that in mind because we are going to use that logic when we are going to try to reset or bypass a Windows 10 login. Okay, come on and let's start. Let's do this local user account first. So you can see the difference that for a login of a Microsoft online account, you will have a sign-in option. But for this local user account, the sign-in option is not there. So I tried putting a password here uh, just for the sake, I just entered anything so that just to let you see that the password is not working. Now, the first thing that we need to have is a working computer and a USB stick. This USB stick should be four gigabytes or I think that should be eight gigabytes. Plug it to a working laptop. Go to Microsoft website. Just type in Windows 10 download. Download. There you go quick and easy now if uh, click this one now if you know how to do this just go ahead download and go for the create windows 10 installation media for other people they know how to create their own windows installation media they can use rufus it's up to them it's up to you if you know but for the guys who doesn't know it's easy just go here click download make sure your usb stick is plugged in now when that's done you can open this and it will run now we are not going to install windows 10 to our computer because it will erase everything we're just going to make this windows 10 bootable media as a tool for us to reset or bypass a forgotten password okay i just want to make that one clear because in these steps you might be thinking oh i'm going to create a media okay like this usb installation media you might be thinking you're going to install Windows 10. No, we're just going to use this as a tool. Okay, just go for USB flash drive and then make sure to select the USB stick you plugged in and check the letter of that USB before you go and select that. Now, some of the footage here are going to be cut because it will download the Windows 10 and it will take time. This will depend on how fast your internet will be. So you can post this one and come back later if you have already downloaded that so that we can continue to the next step. So for me, I'm just going to cut, cut, cut and creating Windows 10 media. This will take longer, about 10 minutes to 15 minutes, depending on your computer. In this process, this will transfer the Windows 10 media to your USB. Now there will be other folders or file explorer that's going to pop up while this is going uh, creating the Windows 10 media. Just ignore it until the finish button appears. This is at 99 and your USB drive is ready. You can see it at the bottom. You can click finish. Click setup is cleaning. We can close the open windows. We can okay. Close our browser 
and verify the USB stick. There you go. This is it. Let's go ahead and unplug this USB stick and use it to reset or bypass a forgotten Windows 10 password. Now we are going to plug this to this computer. Now you need to know the boot menu key for your computer. If you do not know that one, I'll put a link on the description below so you can check that one, the boot menu key of most computers. For this computer, it's F10. So while the computer is booting up, just press that and this option will appear, select USB. Most computers, it could be F2, F10, F11, or F12. But if it doesn't work for you guys, check the link that I'm going to put in the description below. You can press enter and this computer will reboot. So we'll wait for that. That's how it looks like and you will have this option. You just go ahead and press next. Pair your computer, click that and you will go to this option. You click troubleshoot. Then go for system image recovery. Click this option and then this will appear. Just go ahead and cancel that. Then press next. Then go for advance. We are going to try to trick this computer installing a driver. So install a driver. Okay. We will navigate through this PC. Open this up. And if you scroll down, there will be several drives that we can see. Now, what we're looking for is our installation folder of our computer. We are trying to locate the drive that contains a Windows folder. And inside this Windows folder is a System32. Now, there will be similar drives. But the other one will be BootX. So, if we have the BootX, you open this one, it has a Windows, but it is not our drive. It's the other drive that contains that Windows folder. So boot X, not the drive we're looking for. And there's only one here. That's the drive we're looking for. Open this one and we have a System32 inside. We open System32 and locate for a file called Magnify. In my previous tutorial, that was Utilman, but it has been patched. So let's locate for that. Go for M. There you go, M. There you go, magnify. We are just going to rename this one as a backup. So I'll just put one. So magnify one because we are going to put that back later on after we did the trick. So refresh. I'm just going to refresh this one and make sure that it was renamed M. There you go, magnify one. The next file we're going to look for is CMD. We are going to change that name into magnify so that we can trick our computer that when we open magnify, we're opening a CMD or the command application. So CMD, C. So there you go, that, that's the CMD. We right click this, rename and put the name as magnify, uppercase M A Phi. Refresh, make sure it is renamed. Let's go for magnify because that's the name we put in for the CMD. There you go, magnify. Now we can close everything and reboot. Turn off and then turn on back again. Okay. Windows 10. Here's the login page. Click Torogo Pro. We are just going to type any something here. It's not going in. So we are going to click this ease of access and you will have the magnify. So if we click this one, it will open up the CMD. Okay. The first thing we're going to do we're going to type net user to check what users are here. Wait, let's close. Net space user, enter. And then we have administrator and we have Torogu Pro. What is active right now is Torogu Pro. So that's what we're going to use. Let's type in the command net space user 
Torogi Pro. That's the username. Now, if you have a space between, uh, you have a two word username like Torogi Space Pro, you need to put quotes. So if you have a username like that, you put quotes like this. Oops. Like that. Yeah. Okay. Because this is one of the problems that the users are having in my previous tutorial. And they don't know what they're going to do. So take note of that. Now, for me, it is only one word. So I'm just going to go straight up to Rogi Pro. Space to Rogi Pro. Asterisk. You put the asterisk. Remember that one. Press enter. Torgi Pro as space asterisk. Making sure. Enter. Password for the user, just press enter because we want it to be empty or blank. Press enter again and the command was successful. Let's close this one and go ahead and log in. And ta-da! We're going inside! Yeah! See how easy is that, guys? Ta-da! We're in! Okay, that's that's how it is. And the next thing we're going to do is a Microsoft online account, which is similar to a domain user account. Uh, so we're done with the local user account. We're going to do the Microsoft online account. What we're going to do is to bypass that sign-in option so that we can have full access to the computer. Now, if we're going to bypass that one, we're going to have an administrator account so that we can grab all the files we want because it is nearly impossible to reset a Microsoft online account if you do not know your password already or if you went through the steps where Microsoft can help you reset those passwords. So if you cannot do that one, the only thing you can do with this computer if you do not know your password is use an administrator account and I'm going to show you that you can access all the files and folders within the computer system. So that's what we're going to do. So you can see this, that this is an online account because you have, I forgot my pin and uh, option there that says sign in options. And if you try to put a password, it will fail. That's the sign in option I was talking about. So this is the difference between the local user account. Okay, so I just put another password. Yo, that's the message that it's giving me. So. This is a continuation of that tutorial if you're trying to do uh, reset or I mean bypass this account so that we can go inside this computer and access all the files. Now before doing this also, you should have already changed the magnify file into a magnify one and the CMD file into a magnify file. So that if we click ease of access, we can click magnify and CMD will come out. Now, same technique, we can go for net user and you can see Torogi Pro there. And that is connected with online account. So we're going to put net user Torogi Pro, asterisk, enter, enter. And this will show up. The system is authoritative and blah, 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 blah. That means this is connected to a Microsoft online account. Now, we cannot reset that one. So what we're going to do is we create an administrator account net user we are going to create an administrator account net user pro tech we're just going to put it on and then add this will create a user the command completed successfully and the next thing we're going to do to a local uh, we are going to add this one to the administrator group so net space local group space administrators space Protect the username space slash add and then press enter. The command completed successfully. So this should have created another user. And the username is Protect. Close this one. Now you can see it here already that the Ginard Guac is there and we have the Protect below we can click this one and this doesn't have any password because we created this account with the command prompt and it is an administrator so if you're worried with your files we can grab everything from this account and it will set up the 
profiles. This might take several minutes, almost there, and ta-da, next, and it will load up Windows 10. We can close this and navigate through the files here, and let's see. New, and show you this account. Protect. Change account settings so that let's try to see. Sign in options. There you go. Local account administrator. Protect. Search menu and type in computer management. Click this. I want to show you the users that we have here before we go in navigate to the folders. Go for local users. Open users. There you go. Ginard Gwaki Torogi Pro. That's the online account that we have. And then we have Protec, that is the newly created account with CMD. Now let's go to the folders or the file explorer. Go to this PC, local disk C users. And you will have Protec, you have Torogi Pro. If you open Torogi Pro, you can access all the files that are saved with the account of Torogi Pro. So you can grab that one if it is very, very important. You try to check it with Protec. That's my Protec account. Everything that is stored with these files, it's there. With my previous tutorial, a lot of people were asking how can they rename the Magnify or I mean the Utilman A and CMD before. Now we have Magnify and Magnify 1. So what you're going to do is we need to boot up back to that USB and change it because if you are logged into the computer, you cannot change that one. So like what I'm doing here right now, I'm going to boot to that USB and put back the real names of Magnify and CMD. So we have done this one earlier. I'm just going to quickly do it. System image recovery, cancel, next, advance, install a driver, okay. We're going to locate that drive again. Go to this drive this one okay and windows system 32 and then locate for magnify magnify is there we're going to rename this one to cmd rename cmd we are going to refresh check this one if it's cmd there you go cmd is there the next one is magnify one we need to put that one as magnify Magnify one is there, right click, rename, magnify. Close, refresh, I mean refresh. Locate for magnify to make sure it is changed. Magnify is there. Okay, close everything and boot back. Double check if it's um, our CMD is working and the magnify is working normally. Protect is there. And let's go to the start menu, type in CMD. There you go. Press enter. CMD is up. That's good. How about magnify? Type in magnify. Click. Magnify is working. So we're all good. See you next time, guys. I hope you like this video. Bye-bye.